Oh, the Waihi family is, uh, I don't know whether it's unique, but I like to say it's unique. I've said that occasionally to some people, and I suppose you've got to be a bit careful about it, but I still think it is unique in a sense that when I was there, there was something like 47 or 8 boys, uh, and they travelled from, as I said earlier, Southland or Blenheim or, you know, out of the country, and it was a big ask. Uh, we never got uh, any exits. We, we couldn't uh, exits. We couldn't go home at all, any term. And if your parents came, you had three Sundays out. Now, that meant that the boys who didn't have parents coming from all that were enveloped with other boys' families. And the whole school reacted as, a, as one, really. There was, there was little difference between the age groups. You know, the, the, the boys had been there for four or five years. And, and I had six years there. And by the time I got to the sixth year, you know, the wee fellows who come, were coming along, they were still part of the, the show. And the Maltese Cross, to me, always, you know, shows not only what it stands for, as they are there for endure hardness, but enveloped with the family. Well, I'm sure the Centennial Project for the next hundred years uh, is going to be the, the key um, aspect to, to ensure that why he lives forever. Um, and from my point of view, nothing is a, is a greater challenge than for you people as a board and as current day parents to get in behind it. But there's a responsibility on those of us who've enjoyed our time there over from 1907 on to make a contribution. Um, I feel totally uh, committed to doing that in one way or another, one shape or form, because the, the, the life, as I've earlier referred to it, why he was, for me, uh, a launching pad to take me out into the community and get on with what I've done over my life. And uh, so without Waihi, the country would be worse off and many people in Canterbury and whatever, Southland and Otago would be. So I trust that the 2007 celebrations for a launch pad for the next 100 years is as successful as it can be. It needs to be, otherwise um, I'll be disappointed. But we'll talk more positively rather than negatively. Well, the support uh, for the campaign, in my view, is critical, Sue. I say to every old boy and friend of Waihe, uh, get the gorse out of your pockets, uh, support this place, it's worthy of support. You and I have grown because of what it offered us. My career's uh, been built around what I managed to achieve at Waihe. Uh, don't ask me about my education rating, but being part of a family and being part of a country where you can share your fun with people is all about what Waihe is stand for. So, gorse out, money in, and together we'll get there. Tuigata per fur adversa.